It is the 25th day of January, 2013, everyone, and I'm going to be making a piston to start off today's episode for something that I didn't really think I was going to have to do, but I do have to do now. Anyway, and our picture of the day comes from Pentacella, who has some toast. Morning Minecraft. So, uh, I'm getting some cobble, everyone, and we're gonna get some things done here. Uh, I need some redstone if I'm going to make a piston. Holy crap, we already have a sticky piston. Look at me be all productive accidentally. That is not how you stack wood. That is how you stack wood. Dear lord, how does things work? So we have a little bit of a problem. I'm gonna need an axe here for this. Okay, uh... So, uh, if you were watching, I believe, one of my recent ep- Actually, I don't know if I- it was during the, the episode that I recently put out. Hey, guy. I have a visitor. Um... We seem to have a little bit of a problem right here. Where this stair is not being picked up, and I had to get rid of the piston that was underneath. We're gonna- about to go up. Um, so I'm hopefully gonna be able to fix this here. Let's... Let's see if this will fix it. Very good. All right, I'm going to go put these pistons back, and we're going to grab... Actually, we don't need to grab supplies. Jay Sano's been on recently. Did you hear the news? Jay Sano's been on, doing some nether adventures. That's pretty cool. And he apparently to told a story. I didn't get a chance to watch this full episode, so I alas do not know what the story is. But I'm sure it was exciting. Um, Jay Sano's a really cool guy, though. You should go check out his video. Uh, dun -dun -dun -dun. BTC was also on, and he was debugging his blaze farm because it seems to be completely broken. That's a bit unfortunate. Um, <laughs> hey, guy. You don't belong in this world. <laughs> we needed this as Sparta to kick him off here. Hold on. Let's uh, open this up here. Let's get him out. Hey, guy. No, no. You need to go this way. Come here. Come here, guy. This is Sparta! Oh, I, need, I just killed him. Darn. Did, uh... Ah, my chest plate just broke. Looks like we're going to have to do some enchanting here soon. Um, let's go down. I'm going to keep working on my next floor I'm going to be putting in down here. I'm actually going to be making it a mushroom farm uh, formally once I'm done, but, uh... It still needs a little bit of work and expansion. So that's exactly what I'll be doing this episode. Just digging out some of this stuff here and working away. By the way, B-double-O was on. And uh, he uh, has checked out Pyro's prank um, that, that Pyro pulled on him. So be sure to go check out B-dub's video on seeing the prank be revealed. Uh, looks like we have a gravel. Okay. Um, so, anyway... Uh, <laughs> Yesterday's video, I I kind of I kind of ranted and I, I had a lot to say on yesterday's video and um basically I have found what I believe might be a solution. I'm not going to tell you the solution, not because I'm a jerk, although I am being a bit of a jerk by not telling you, but I feel it's best if we just. Let, let it go with the flow, and I can work on making this smooth transition into what I think is going to be pretty fancy. Um, so, get hype. Booyah, I get hype. Um, anyways, um, it's secrets for right now. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it another time. Uh, what I want, don't want to talk about right now is the Wind Waker HD. Uh, admits my giant rant yesterday, I missed probably the biggest news of my life. Um, maybe that's a little bit of a stretch, but I can't be sure. The Wind Waker, um, which is, of course, my favorite video game of all time, had an announcement yesterday. Uh, Iji Anoma, the, um, producer of the Legend of Zelda series, um, came on to the Nintendo Direct live stream that they did, and he announced not only that are they working on a Zelda for the Wii U, but while they're working on it, since it looks like it's going to take some time to complete, they're releasing The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker 
in HD uh, on the Wii U, and that's coming this fall, actually. And I am beyond excited for this because I'm a huge fan of the Wind Waker. Uh, I do speedruns of it. I've I've uh, played this game ever since it came out. I've beaten it probably over 50 times myself. Um, it's honestly one of my favorite games. It, it, well, it is my favorite game. What am I talking about? And so the fact that it's coming out and on HD on the Wii U. Oh, hello. I'm in my farm. <laughs> I'm in the farm. We need to seal that up. Looks like the roof can't go much higher than this. I'm going to have to bring it down probably another level then. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited about the Wind Waker HD. Uh, and I don't really know what to expect from it. Like, I, I can't, like, say... I hope, I hope it gets rid of these features. I hope it adds these features. Because um, the Wind Waker as a whole, in my, in my opinion, is a really good experience. Like, there's nothing I can honestly say right off the top of my head that would make it a better game or a worse game if they did something. So, uh, instead of trying to make predictions and all that, I'm just going to let Nintendo do their business and hope that when it comes out, it's as magical as the first time I played it. Anyways, let's uh, change topics here. The Swede has left the building. Uh, Mr. Silver has been here um, for uh, a good month of January. We've been recording MC vs. Silver. We have over 21 episodes, I believe, tw actually 24 episodes. 24 episodes of MC vs. Silver recorded. We're going to start airing those here in February. I believe we're going to do one every other week. So uh, that get that's pretty much sets us for um, almost a whole year worth of MC vs. Silver. Uh, I can't tell you what we've played because it's it's hashtag secrets right now but pretty soon you will be able to find out uh what we've been up to and i i'm i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna really like it i'm actually kind of revamping the entire mc versus silver show as a whole um in the past we've had a lot of issues with um like recording uh the gameplay and that was all pretty much before i started getting really heavy into doing console gaming uh, let's plays and I found a lot of solutions since then to ensure I have flawless recordings so um, Get hype. We're going to be having very nice recordings. The audio is great. The video is great um, And overall it's gonna be a great experience. How many times did I say great there great 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 um, But yes, he left the building so uh, I actually have the studio all to myself now um, It's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a gift and a curse. Um, and of course that would be that now I, I have I have time that I can actually stay up until 5 a.m. every night and get work done. Um, but on the flip side of the coin that means I no longer have company here. So now I'm going to be, I don't want to say lonely, but that also could be a plus because now that means I'll probably be doing more live streams. Because when I get lonely, I like to live stream. Alright, um, well, let me talk about some ideas I have for, uh, this little build we're doing here, inside the, the, the mountain house. I'm just gonna pop on over here, put up a few torches, because we have a severe lack of torches. The only thing I want to do is get more torches across the world here, and try to make sure it stays nice and bright. Okay, so, you can see where I gotta fill in some stuff here, uh, right there where the, the farm is, I can't put anything in there. And up here, we actually have the redstone, so I can't actually put anything in there. However, I can put in stuff here. I can put in stuff here. I can even put in stuff over here. I don't know if I want to do that. That's all going to be stuff I have to consider. Um, I'm thinking what I'm going to turn this into is a um, the mushroom pen. I'm going to make it like have some really nice glass windows like that. I'm going to like uh, have them free range, so you, like if you're out here like approaching the house, you can see a whole bunch of mushrooms wandering in there, and uh, the thing I was thinking about is how I currently, let's uh, pop back over, boom, we have this here, <laughs> not boom, uh, what was the word, uh, not, not kablamo, uh, booyah, there we go, <laughs> oh boy, um, is the, the big old, uh, the, the, the staircase that never gets finished over here, um, let's go take a, let's get, take a peek at it, um, I put it in here to, as a way to get down to the mountain village quickly, um, but I don't think it serves that purpose very well, <laughs> because the, 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 first of all, the drop-off here is immense, I don't have a, I, I, have to, I would have to build that. Second, 
the mountain village is all the way over here. And I haven't even worked on the mountain village in forever because I'm totally not even really inspired by this idea over here. Like I, I want to do something with it, but I just haven't had the, the juice to do so. So I was thinking about tear, tearing it down. Yeah, I know. And rebuilding this dog um, on this side of the house. Um, let's uh, see if we can get a good shot here. Uh, over through it. Yeah! Good shot, MC. Um, putting it in, in actually right here along this wall uh, right here. And then what we could do is we could have uh, exit drops. Um, I could have one for the farm. I could even have one as a redstone entrance to go see my redstone stuff. It would be like, uh, let me see if I can describe this right. Having an exit way uh, in the wall that actually goes in right through this area, if, if that makes any sense to you guys. Um, and have one here so I can actually go and visit the mushrooms. I might do a floor down here, actually. Um, I don't know if I'll put like something like this around it, but I might do something in here for sheep. Because um, as of right now, I've been having to go back to the underwater palace anytime I need some wool. And uh, that's pretty ineffective. Um, now, one thing I'd like to mention about the underwater palace is recently... Uh, I'm going to head back up real quick. Um, was how... Uh, recently we went there on the one episode of Good Morning Mindcrack. Uh, I believe it was during a sweet, the first sweet Sunday. And I got some wool. Um, and I haven't said what that was for yet. I said it was for a prank, I believe. Well, it's for a prank if I didn't. But uh, I haven't fully finished what I need to do. Um, I need to get onto my creative game here. And I'll probably be doing that here soon. And start planning out part of the prank. Because... Uh, uh, this is a prank that I have, I'm going to have to do swiftly and correctly if, if it's going to work out well. And so I need to make sure I pre-plan my builds so I can actually quickly go in there and build them. It's something kind of like the Candyland prank almost where uh, you, I'm going to be building a lot of things that are kind of duplicates. Like like uh, like, like the um, lollipops and stuff. Um, but it's pretty complex so I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. Um, but yes, uh, just, just again to wrap up and, and kind of bring everything together. Yes, I, ha I, I have a new plan for the series in general. Um, not only for Good Morning Minecraft, but for my channel. I'm going to be starting work on doing a whole bunch of different things just to make things different. And uh, you may have noticed, first of all, that I um, the first change that I can make public is I'm not no longer doing the days of Good Morning Minecraft. Um, that's not to say I will not do those special things. I may have a day where I want to go and do a trick, so I'll go do a trick. Um, or I might want a do day to do a tour. But lately, I, there's been, like, so few people on the Minecraft vanilla server on a daily basis that's hard to tour everybody because we're not having as many big changes happen. So it's either been B00, Vintage Beef, and I can't get to BTC's place, but we'll hopefully be able to go and visit him soon. Uh, but I will bring back the Swede. We will have him on. Maybe not for a Swede Sunday, but just on a day that I want to have silver on. So that's kind of the first change I'm making. Um, I, I'm also going to be working on a new intro for Good Morning Mindcrack. Um, using the same music and, and all that. Um, but I, I had an idea this morning. And I was like, you know, this, this, this sounds good. We'll do that. So uh, get hype for that. Is this done? I think it's done in my eyes. <laughs> You're done. You're done, fool. <laughs> I need more reeds. We need to like set up like some sort of like long hallway with reeds. I actually have a. Ooh, that's a pretty good idea I had right there. And we're out of melons. <laughs> we we have a whole nother stack. But I'm gonna call it the episode. Um. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. It's time for your random opinion. Okay, so the first things first, somebody comments, uh, a few people commented about how I say it's your, it's time for your random opinion, not my random opinion, even though it's because your eyes aren't getting the opinion. Well, I'm saying it's time for your random opinion and that I am giving you this opinion. Uh, it's time for your random opinion that I'm about to give to you. Um, it's going to be yours now. <laughs> no. I, I understand where you're coming from, though, but I, I like saying it's your it's time for your random opinion just because it's like a featurette on the show. So it's time for your featurette on the show. Anyways, my random opinion is that ham is better than sausage on a pizza. 
Good morning, Mike.